guys, long time no see talk. I don't even know what I'm saying. But um, I am so sorry I have not posted a video in so long. Like, I'm sorry. Like, sort of have an excuse, kind of not, you know, like, ugh. Like, I just got back from California, just had my birthday, had a surprise party, had a doctor's appointment, had a had a dentist appointment for my teeth, obviously. Um, it's been a pa it's been a really packed in week, so um, yeah. And I know you guys can't tell, but um, I cut my hair short. It doesn't look like it in the ponytail, but it's like to here now, and it used to be like all the way down to here. So you know, it's kind of a big difference for me, you know. But um, yeah. So like I said, I just got back from California like a week ago. Um, so I'm just going to be making, sorry, there is a fuzzy thing, but, um, I'm just going to be making a video on like theme park tips and tricks because when I was there and I had these tips and tricks, if I had them, I think my experience would have been a hundred times better. I mean, it was like really awesome stuff, but most of the time it's pretty miserable. Not going to lie. And yes, I'm wearing a sweater because it's September. So it's considered fall now. So why not? Okay, so tip number one, like, bring, like, water bottles with you. Like, like, <laughs> water bottles you buy from the store, not ones that you, like, fill up and stuff. Because the water at the theme parks are absolutely disgusting. Like, like, when you fill it up, it's, like, white. Like, it's not clear. It's white. Like, full of chemicals. It was disgusting. It was disgusting. Disgusting. Okay? Disgusting. And the theme parks I went to was Universal and um, Disneyland, so yeah. Next tip is to get the app for whatever theme park you're going to, cause like there was a Universal app which told you like rides were like a short wait or whatever, like they just told you the wait time so you would know. So you could go to the rides that have shorter wait cause like why would you wait in a long line? So that really helps and stuff and it shows you, there's like a map on there and it shows you where stuff is and it's the same thing for Disneyland too. Um, that's was really helpful because it's better than walking all the way there and seeing the time and it being long and then walking all the way back to where you were. So that's it's really helpful. You guys should download that. Helpful. Next tip um is for me, I don't know if this is just when I went at the time I went, but um, I would not get a fast pass for Disneyland because the fast pass is you have to wait in line for each like fast pass for each ride it's not just like you get a fast pass for all of them no you have to wait in line for each ride like if you want a fast pass for that one so I don't know if that makes sense but I would recommend not getting fast pass because by the time you like already waited in line for the fast pass and then you wait in line for the short time ish for the ride that you got the fast pass on it's gonna be the time of like it's gonna be about the time that you are standing in line without a fast pass so I don't know, it just seems like a waste of time to me. Um, we didn't do one, but like I could just see because like people were waiting there for like 35 minutes and then they would wait in line for like 10 minutes. So like 35 minutes for the fast pass and then they wait in line for the ride in, for 10 minutes. And so it was like 45 minutes waiting and the wait line was like 50. So I don't know why five minutes is that great. Like just spare five minutes to wait in that line like I would just wait in next line. tip is I would get the park hopper for Disneyland and um, California Adventure because that was good because like Disneyland has like some little kid rides and like there's good rides over there but I feel like they won't fill up all of your time so I would get the park hopper because they had a lot of amazing rides there and if I didn't go there I would totally regret it because there was like my favorite rides over there and if I didn't go over there, then I wouldn't have been on it. So I think you guys should get the park hopper, which is amazing. But also, I would not just do one day at Disneyland in California Adventure. I would get two or three days because, like, we, there was a lot more stuff we wanted to do. Like, we had to rush everything. So I would get maybe two days at Disneyland and stuff because then you'd have more time. You have to get rushed and all of that Next tip is to bring your own food or to go outside the park and get food because park food, like theme park food, is so darn expensive, okay? It doesn't matter what theme park you're at. 
it's always expensive and I don't know why it's so expensive because you pay so much to get in they would think oh yeah they shouldn't pay that much because they paid so much to get in you know yeah so I that's what I would do that's what we did we went to downtown Disney which isn't actually in Disneyland and it's a lot cheaper than Disneyland food like a lot so yeah Yeah, I'm drinking hot chocolate because, like I said, it's fall time. Why not? Hello, I'm back, but you guys didn't know because I edited it out. I love editing. I'm sorry. Um, The next tip I have for theme parks is to put your hair up because, well, at the time I went, like in the summertime if you go, it is so hot. Like, you don't think you need to put your hair up, but when you were there... You need to put it up. It like, it, mm -mm. you guys need to put your hair up. It was so bad. So bad. So bad, I'm not even gonna talk about it. Next tip is to get a portable charger and my mom bought the expensive one, not the $10 one because we didn't think those would work. But um, I I would get one of those because um, they work really well. We were using it like a lot because our phones were gonna die and stuff. And it's easier than just like going to find like, um, an outlet and then just sitting there so your phone can charge when you're on the ride which is amazing so why wouldn't you do that like I am doing a lot of thumbs up in this video and I don't know why you're welcome next tip is to if you guys are going to Disneyland I would not bring a selfie stick because right when we got there they gave us a sheet like when we walked in when we walked in um saying selfie sticks are banned and if you have one we'll take it away because they're hazardous or something like that and we brought ours just for Disneyland and couldn't use it because they're cruel so very heartbreaking but um I don't know if they're gonna change that rule but they it was like that when we went so they're like it's hazardous you can't just stand there and then take selfies with it like it's, it's too long people will die you know I don't know that's just what they said my next tip or trick is to keep your ticket with you at all times because like you're allowed to leave the park once you're in there and then you can like come back. Since we did the hopper like from um, California Adventure to Disneyland, um, I would keep your ticket with you at all times if you do that because whenever you go in like they stamp you when you leave and then when you come back they ask you for your ticket which doesn't make sense. I'm like, what's the point of my stamp bra? Like, why? Yeah, my sister almost couldn't come in because she couldn't find her ticket, so that was good. My next tip is, um, I went, like, to Disneyland maybe five years ago, too, and I went in October, so I would not choose to go at that time because it was raining the whole time and so many rides were closed and you couldn't see, like, the characters, and it just wasn't, like, the full experience that you should have. Like, I think you should go during the summer. Like, that seems the best, even though it's really hot. I don't know. Actually, spring break would probably be the best because it's not like super hot, but um, I'm sorry. The lighting keeps changing. Um, it's raining and there's like a storm, so there's clouds like over the sun sometimes, so sorry. My next tip is to come early, like right when the gates open or to get the magic morning pass because um, the magic morning pass just lets you get there before the park even opens, which is awesome because that means like Nobody is there. You can zoom through like all the really popular rides that you like so then you don't have to wait in the long lines. And then when everybody gets there you can get to the rides like that people usually don't go to first so then it's a lot easier. Or you can just get there like right when it opens and just go straight to the ride that you want to go to and it's a lot easier to go to your favorite rides in a quicker time. The next tip I have for you guys is to bring a backpack because my like bringing a purse would be so annoying I wore a backpack and it helped me so much because my purse is like on one side and so like um it got it would get really annoying because it's like heavy on one side just get in the way and backpacks are so much easier because you can just have it on your back and just you know just keep going on your day last but not least tip is to wear like to wear really comfy things like it doesn't matter what you look like it doesn't matter what you look like okay just wear something really comfy and wear really comfortable shoes okay because I wore flip-flops 
and I'm not even gonna tell you how bad my feet hurt that day. So bad. And, um, okay, just, I would wear tennis shoes, like, yes, because my sister wore them and her feet weren't even hurting, so I would wear tennis shoes because, you know, I didn't wear them because I didn't think they would match with my outfit, you know, but, um, just, just wear comfy clothes, doesn't matter what you look like, and wear tennis shoes, I would say, because those are probably the comfiest shoes that would, they would be the comfiest shoes worn here around all day, anyway, so, yeah. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Give it a great big thumbs up, comment down below, and let me know if you guys have been to Disneyland or Universal before because they're awesome. They're just awesome, okay? Amazing. Make sure you hit that red subscribe button. I don't know where it is, um, somewhere. And um, yeah, and leave any video ideas down below because I am running out. I have a few, but I'm working on them. So you guys will just have to see what they are when they come out. So, you know, you know, so just leave some of your video ideas down below. And I love you guys so much and bye.